After making a name for herself at Fox News, Megyn Kelly was courted by NBC and offered a reported $23 million per year to bring her star power to the Peacock Network. This made her the highest-paid anchor at NBC, but unfortunately, courting Kelly may not have been the best investment. In September 2017, the network gave her a daily talk show-style gig during the 9 a.m. slot of the Today Show called Megyn Kelly Today. The show failed to bring in viewers and ratings plummeted, fueled by countless controversies. Let's take a closer look at some of the reasons Megyn Kelly's morning show has been a bit of a disaster. Done with politics Viewers tuning in to NBC for the debut episode of Megyn Kelly Today were greeted with a surprising announcement. A few seconds into the episode, Kelly declared that she would be leaving behind the politically charged coverage folks had come to expect from her. The truth is, I am kind of done with politics for now, right? I know! You know why! It's gotten so dark and I'm just like, over. The unexpected decision garnered a slew of criticism. The New York Times called the new Kelly awkward and, according to Page Six, an industry insider quipped, "...they spent all that money on this great political anchor and journalist. If you take those things away, what are you paying for?" Deborah's Diss Kelly became the subject of major scrutiny on her first day on the job when actress Deborah Messing declared that she regretted her appearance on the show. When the former Fox News anchor welcomed the cast of Will & Grace to her studio, fans were met with a seriously cringeworthy exchange between Kelly and a superfan from the audience. Is it true that you became uh, a lawyer and you became gay because of Will? <laughs> When Messing was later asked about the awkward moment on Instagram, the actress set the record straight, responding, "...honestly, I didn't know it was Megyn Kelly until that morning. The itinerary just said Today Show appearance. Regret going on, dismayed by her comments." Feud with Fonda Just 48 hours after she was dissed by Messing, Kelly caught more heat when she asked actress Jane Fonda about plastic surgery instead of focusing on the movie the actress was there to promote. "...you're not proud to admit that you've had work done. Why not?" We really want to talk about that now? <laughs> It wasn't like I was, you know, uh, upset. I was just stunned. It was so inappropriate. You know, it showed that she's not that good an interviewer. Kelly decided to clap back at Fonda on the air. But I have no regrets about that question. Nor am I in the market for a lesson from Jane Fonda on what is and is not appropriate. She followed up her defense with an attack on Fonda's patriotism. After all, this is a woman whose name is synonymous with outrage. Look at her treatment of our military during the Vietnam War. Publicists staying away A few weeks into the show's existence, fans may have noticed something important missing from the mix — celebrity guests. According to Variety, the lack of star power was the result of A-list publicists actively avoiding Megyn Kelly today. An anonymous rep told the magazine, "...I'm not booking anyone on her show. I literally haven't pitched anyone even from right out the gate. The buzz that is out there is so bad." Another publicist, who did have a client appear on the show, admitted that they won't plan to have more clients go on. Others blamed Kelly's politically charged past for their hesitation, with one source saying, "...I don't even know if it's as much her as it is Fox News. Because she came from Fox News, she was set up for failure because the industry is so polarized now, and no one wants to touch anything associated with Trump. Toxic Work Environment In January 2018, Kelly's show continued making headlines for all the wrong reasons when one of its writers, Kevin Blyer, claimed he was fired because he openly complained about verbally abusive behavior from top-level executives. According to the Daily Mail, Blyer sent a note to Human Resources highlighting various abuses and claiming that even, quote, "...veteran staffers are looking for the exits." An NBC rep denied Blyer's claims, saying he, was let go for one reason only. He was the wrong fit for this role, as a comedy writer at a morning news broadcast. Shunning Megan? Between the drama and the low ratings, Kelly's home network may be giving up on her. The cold shoulder became painfully evident when NBC made the eyebrow-raising decision to exclude Kelly from its 2018 Olympic delegation. Although it's not clear if this was her decision or the network's, the move was strange because NBC normally assigns all of its biggest stars to cover the action. According to Fox News, an NBC insider said, "...this is incredibly embarrassing for Megan. Anybody who's anybody at NBC goes to the Olympics." A columnist for The Hill backed up that sentiment, saying, "...it is odd that NBC News would leave its highest-paid host at home. Megan could still use the kind of exposure and interviews you only get when physically at the Olympics." Thanks for watching. Click the Nikki Swift icon to subscribe to our YouTube channel. Plus, check out all this cool stuff we know you'll love, too!